Did I just say Wexer? Jesus Christ, my mouth is a baby. All right. So, standing waves. What are standing waves? Well, let's draw a huge wave tower. Wave. Tower for wave power. All right. So, let's say, let's talk about the harmonics. The first harmonic is where you only have one antinode. What's it in? What is an antinode? Well, it's a node that moves the most from one cycle to another. Because this moves the greatest distance apart from other distances. Like say, this point, which only moves about like half of what this does. Right, so now that's an antinode, which moves the most, and there are technically two nodes, which are the endpoints, but they don't count. So that's the first harmonic. But there's only one trough and, well, one crest. So that means the length is always equal to one half the wavelength, or lambda. And lambda is always equal to 2L. Now, let's move down the tower, and let's look at the second harmonic. Now, the second harmonic is two antinodes, is one node, and there are also two other nodes on our endpoints. And the thing is, there's a bit of bloody history behind their name. Note. So, basically, what happened, what happened that made it change its name? Well, originally, it was called a very boring name, No Motion, by physicists of the 17th century. No, I meant 18th century. But the thing is, musicians of the time weren't really happy with the name didn't sound harmonic enough to them. So, what they decided to do was, uh, during the French Revolution, they had an opportunity. So, they started rioting on the streets. And then the physicians started uh, creating their own military and deploying it on the damn musicians. And a lot of people were killed. Physicists held up signs that said, no to no, yes to no motion. But, Eventually, the musicians, the physicists, conceded and gave the musicians what they wanted. Uh, a few musicians lost their heads to the Robespierre guillotine, but not that many. So, eh. it didn't get a Wikipedia page because not that many lost their lives. Anyway, it was changed from no motion to no D. No! And that how nodes got their name. Thank you for the history lesson. Now let's get back to the physics. L is equal to lambda. The last kind of harmonic that normies like you can easily produce. Now, this has five, no, four nodes and three anti-nodes. Wait, couldn't you call physis the physicians or oh, physicists during the French Revolution anti-nodes because they weren't liking the node name? Anti-node? And so, that is the final kind of wave that normies like you can generate and also the final kind of wave we need to talk about. Because here, lambda is two-thirds L. There's one and a half cycles. So L is also equal to three halves lambda. What is the formula for our equation? Well, it's lambda is equal to two L over N, but not nodes. It's actually the amount of anti-nodes. Na na na. All right, thank you everybody for watching and we will see you next time.